<clears throat> okay, uh, good evening, Mr. Pastran. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm great, and you? I'm fine, mister. Um, what have you been doing? Sorry, what did you say? What have you been doing? Well, it's been a lazy day, to be honest. No, really? You yeah, don't... what about you? So uh, it, it was a busy day, because I've been working um, with some, um, well, I, I have to attend uh, classes, I have to teach classes uh, to other groups. So it's been a busy day. Um, you didn't work today? I just study. And you're studying? Oh. Yes, I'm studying. Okay, but what I'm are quality. you studying? Um, it's kind of difficult to explain it because last year I was studying economy, but mm -hmm. I changed my major. So this year I'm going to start another career. Career. Okay. What What is yeah. the ones that you're studying right now? I haven't studied yet, but I'm going to I'm going to begin studying languages. It's languages. Uh, French. Yeah, French. Oh, very good. That's good. Do you speak another language? Um, <laughs> I speak French, but it's not like English. Um, well, I can say that maybe it's in, uh, I'm basic in French. In a, in a, in a basic level. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we have to start in somewhere, so that's a beginning at the least. <laughs> yes, yes. No, and it is good because if you speak English, it's going to be easy, easy for you to learn, in this case, French. Uh, I've been thinking in learning in, in learning in Mandarin, but it's I, I feel that it can be uh, so difficult, but I don't know. I'm thinking about yeah. it. <laughs> People I would say, say that Mandarin is one of the most difficult ones to learn. Yes, yes, it is. Because you must uh, you must study many symbols that they have. An easy one is is um, a Italian language, okay? Because uh, you pronounce it in the same way that you speak Spanish, and I think that is one of the easy ones if you want to 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 learn a new language. Which one? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Italian. It, oh yeah, yeah. It, Italian. It's kind of easy. Yes. Yes, it is. I was, I you, was pronounce it, you pronounce it as you pronounce uh, Spanish. Yeah, that's true. I was studying Italian in Duolingo, the app. And really? It's kinda easy. Uh, yeah, uh -huh, I know yeah. Some, some phrases, uh, you know, the basic things. Uh, okay, very good. good. Yes, that, that's a good platform to learn a, a language, uh, at least the basic ones, the, the basic structures, because yeah. If you want to go through uh, grammar and pronunciation, you must uh, attend some uh, virtual classes, or in this case, you can uh, attend classes in, in your, well, in your area. Um, and it's good, it's good to learn new language. Uh, let's see, uh, welcome Mr. Diaz. How are you? Hi, hi teacher, morning. Good, good, good evening, Mr. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. You're fine. Oh, very good. Do you work today? Yes, yeah, right. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I, I right. Right now. Oh, really? Oh, very good. That's mean that you have just uh, yes. some minutes and, and then you connect to, to, the, to the class. Okay, let's see. Um, I like them. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see who else is here. 
Uh, welcome, Mr. Portillo. How are you? I'm fine. I am, I am fine with my dog right now. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> what, what kind of dog do you have? <laughs> Sorry. What? What kind of dog do you have? I have a mini este, German dog, a pastor. Ah, okay, okay, got it, got it. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, it, th those are beautiful. Okay, uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Mr. Kanjura, how are you? I am fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too, Mr. Uh, it's been a busy day for you or not? Uh, what? Repeat, please. It's been a busy day for you or not? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, okay. That's mean that you have been working. Um, I had problem with my car. Really? I, I have. Um, yes, yes. I have. Uh, one of my cars is uh, uh, an older. I say is. Uh, 1996 oh, and, okay. and had problems in the uh, air conditioner. Oh, got and, it, got it. And the mechanic, it, the mechanic is not an expert in air conditioner, but oh. he knows uh, a lot. And finally, I find, and finally he got uh, repair the car. Oh, okay. What fix? Okay. But, but I was I was seeing all the process. Oh, that's I mean that you... I, I, Yes, I you am. Were checking, you were checking all, all the process there. Oh, got it. Got it. Yes, 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 all the process because sometimes uh, they invent uh, some fault. And yes, uh, that, that's happened. Are, that's happened to me. <laughs> that happens uh -huh. to me some months ago. I went to um, a mechanic and uh -huh. he, he started with one thing. Okay, I'm going to change this because this is the wrong thing. Then um, I went in, in the afternoon and he said, no, you must buy this, this, and this, and this. And then is so all things were good, but he was just trying to get an extra money. <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh>. yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's how, <laughs> how do you change of your uh, mecha mechanic? Uh, mm -hmm. No, I did. I did. I changed it. I changed it because I said, no, no, no. So sorry, but uh, I will get my car and I will um, fix my car later. Then I will. <laughs> I went to a different mechanic and he said, no, no, don't worry. It's just this, and he, he changed it, and, and that's that's it. That, that that was sold. So the thing is that it, it, there are some mechanics that try to uh, look for something else to get an extra money. That's happened. That's happened, and it's common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see who else is here. Miss uh, Siciliano, welcome. Let's see who else. Well, I can see. Good evening, teacher. Thank Good evening. you. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. I have problem with my internet. Really? Oh, so sad. Maybe you can check the, yes. the video conference later. <clears throat> okay, the, the thing is you can stay here. Okay, you can stay here. Uh, but if you have problems with your internet and if you don't understand what I'm saying, uh, it's like, it, it is like a delay in, in, the, in the video class. You can check it later in, in YouTube. Okay, because uh, we always yes. upload the, the video there. And it's public, yes. so you can check it in there. Yeah, I see. Okay, let's see who else. Uh, Mr. Diaz, welcome. Mr. Portillo, um, Ms. Torres, <coughs> Mr. Jimenez. Hi, 
<clears throat> welcome. Hi, so, uh, tell me. Good night, teacher. Ah, good evening. Good evening. How are good you? Night. I'm fine, teacher. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like it. Uh, well, we're going to start with um, the video class for tonight. And I remember that we left uh, the class yesterday talking about future tenses. Um, and we're going to, we were reviewing uh, those tenses in English and, and we were checking the structure, the, the, the basic structure of those tenses. Because uh, you already know, and I remember that you were uh, uh, completing some exercises in, and I remember that you did it in a good way. That's good. So, and we're going to finish that. We're going to uh, finish um, the simple future tense, and then we're going to watch a video. And after we watch a video, we're going to have a discussion in, in breakout rooms, and we're going to be practicing, okay? <clears throat> Let's start. Sorry. Uh, what is it? The PPT, let me check. Okay, it is here. Oh. This is the simple feature, okay? Simple feature. This is an easy one. Uh, why? Because we have just to uh, use an auxiliary verb to construct the future tense. Let's read what it. Let, let's read what it says. Um, future tense is a verb form that generally marks the uh, event described by the verb as not having happened yet, but is suspect to happen in the future, okay? That's what we had for simple future tense. What does it mean? <clears throat> in this uh, type of sentence, the actions have, haven't been completed yet and must be completed in the future or could be completed in the, completed in the future. Let's see how it works. And I'm going to use the, um, the whiteboard because in this case, we're going to be working with this. Uh, as we know, we are going to use always a subject. Remember that the subject could be a noun or it could be a pronoun. We're going to write the, 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 the structure here, subject, okay? Subject, class, will, in this case, class, the base form of the verb, base, form of bear plus an object or also called complement okay that's going to be the structure that we're going to be discussing in this tense subject plus will plus base form of bear plus the object let's see uh, we're going to work with it. Uh, can you help me? Let me see. Can you give me a, a subject? Could be a noun, could be um, a pronoun, so you decide. Give me a subject. subject could be dog, uh, a name. Okay. Uh, object. Okay, uh, you say dog. Dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. I will write it here. I'm going to use green color. Dog. Dog. Then, what do we have to use? Okay, guys. What do we have to use? Wheel, of course. In this case, wheel is used to express future. Okay. And um, we're going to see later the other forms to express future, but uh, using negatives. But first, we're going. To, first of all, we're going to write uh, the affirmative form. Okay, dog will. In this case, we we must use a base form of a verb. Can you help me with it? Can you give me a verb? Maybe. It, what about it? Sorry. 
Maybe it. It. Okay. It. Dog will eat. Uh huh. What else? Will eat what? Sorry, I can listen. Oh. His food. Mm, I don't know if it is my internet or not, but I can listen. Couch. Can you repeat His it again? His food. His food. Okay, got it. I, I guess I got it. You mean his food? In the other way? Is it correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, mean you? You mean to work? Okay. Dog will work. Okay, got it. I, I couldn't listen, sorry. But we have this sentence. We're going to use this sentence. Dog will eat his food. Um, just to correct this sentence, in this case, because we're using um, the name, uh, a common name, we must use a, a determiner. In this case, we're going to use the dog will eat his food. D, we're going to use the determiner a D to specify that in a specific dog will do an action. Um, in this case, we are we are using will that is for expressing future, and it in this case is the verb, the main verb that we're using, plus the object of the sentence. Very good. Okay, we have an example. Now it's your turn. You're going to construct a sentence using this structure. Okay, you're going to use subject plus will plus base form of a verb plus an object. And after that, and after you finish completing or writing your sentence, you must post it in the in the chat in the chat of this video conference, and then I will uh, copy and paste in the whiteboard to be reviewed later. Let's see. I have the first one, and it says. Uh, I will put it there. Okay, I will be at home. Okay, R uh, type or write a, a sentence and send it to uh, the chat of this video conference. How do you other one? She will live soon. Very good. So I will give you uh, just three minutes. Then I'll be back. We're going to be back. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What's your question? In the first sentence, is he or it? Because you, you are speaking. The dog, no, the person. I mean, uh, what do you mean? If it, 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 oh, got it. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true. Because thank you, thank you, very good. Thank you. It is true. Must be a uh, eat. Yes. It. Because it's the it's dog, okay, the animal. dog, eat its food. Yeah, but... Yes, because in this case, we're not using a, 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 a name of a, of a person. We're using a, a, the name, a common name of an animal. Yes, it's right. dog. Para cosas o animales, el eat. El eat, exactly. El thank you, thank you very much. Okay, yes, yes, but but we if we appreciate the animal, we can use his. I read that. Yeah, most like American. Do that. <laughs> but but in grammar, in grammar, even though if we if we uh, appreciate animals, uh, this sentence is incorrect. Even though if, if it is in that way, because grammar 
uh, give us rules and it says that with um, the, the, with common names, in this case, uh, we must use it. Uh, this is referring to uh, animals, things, or places. Okay. So I got uh, I, I didn't notice that. Thank you. Who was the, who was the ones who who discovered that that mistake? What is your name? Doris. Doris Torres. Doris Torres. Ah, okay. Thank you, Doris. Yes. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, uh, write your sentence, and I will put it in the wire. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, we have a lot of sentences here that uh, are mostly in, in, well, all of them are in, in, in future tense. Let's see if they are good or not. Um, if they are correct or not, I mean. Let's check the number one. Okay, this one, I will be at home. Is it correct, yes or not? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yesterday, I remember that I told you, Musat, uh, the, the period at the end of the sentence. Okay. The sentence is correct. It's correct. I mean, um, the next one, she will leave soon. Is it correct too? Uh, let me see. I will learn a new language. Okay. I will learn a new language. Very good. This is correct. Um, let me see the next one. 
I will eat pusas tomorrow. Okay, very good. This one. What is this? Teacher, ese, ese está mal escrito. Es que se me fue antes de escribirla bien. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want? What What do you want you to, to write? I will eat pupusas tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes. This one. Is, this is the correct. This is the correct one. Okay, yes. we're going to delete this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. Uh, let's see the next one. I will work in the platform on weekend. I will work. This must be a small, okay. I will work in the platform on weekend. Okay, very good. Is it correct? Excellent. Uh, let me see. Okay, I will play soccer the Sunday. The Sunday. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. Must be on, and we must use capital letter. Okay, Sunday. Sunday. When we refer to a days, we must use on. Okay, I will play soccer on Sunday, on Friday, uh, on Monday. So instead of using that okay uh let's see the next one i will go to the mountain tomorrow very good is it good okay. she will get pregnant soon huh. <laughs> how do we know that congratulations <laughs> okay let's see is it correct uh i will eat pizza tonight very good I will study languages, amazing. I will read book, a, a, a book. Is it correct? We're using construction. Um, my classmates will be graduating from college. Is it good? And the last one, I'll visit, I'll visit you in, in, uh, the next weekend. Okay, in this case, we must omit the, and we have to use, and we have to say, I will visit you next weekend. Instead of saying the next weekend, must be next weekend, okay? We refer to that. And that's good. It is correct. Well, you did well. You did it in, in a good way. Let me see, I have a chat here. Oh, and there is the last one. Okay, this one. Let me type it here. Okay, they will fly the next month to Tokyo. Okay, we must correct this just uh, using a capital letter in Tokyo because it's the, it's the name of a city. It's a proper name. Uh, Okay, Tokyo, Tokyo, this way, Tokyo. Uh, they will fly the next month to Tokyo. Remember, I will fly next month to Tokyo. Very good. Let's see. So now we are ready to see the comparisons between tenses. Uh, I will stop this. Let me just See, stop sharing. Oh, no, no. What did I do? Okay, uh, stop sharing. Okay, very good. Um, well, I will put the presentation again and we are going to watch a video. We're going to watch a video 
uh, that correspond to this uh, subject that we're going to discuss. Okay, please pay attention to uh, this video. Mm -hmm. I can reproduce it. Give me a second. Uh, tell me. What do you say? Uh, I guess someone has opened uh, his or her microphone. Can you please uh, turn it off? Okay. Here we have the video. Can you see uh, the video Don't work. in the screen? Can you see the video? Yes. No. No? Yes. Oh, okay. no. Don't you see the screen, please. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Let's no, stop. Teacher. And let's put it again this way. Share some. And this. Okay, let's see. Let me know if you can listen uh, the audio of this video. If you do, please pay attention. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, People walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Changed. Part neighborhood has changed. This neighborhood has changed. Okay. Um, there we have a conversation and then we have the transcript of that conversation. I don't know if you can read uh, that. Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So in that conversation, the one that we have here, um, what we are going to do is to identify what sentence is simple, uh, present, uh, future, and which, sen which sentence is in uh, a simple past. <clears throat> Let's see, can you identify one sentence there? If you can identify a, another type of sentence, you can let me know too. Just read the sentence and let me know what is the tense of that sentence. The neighborhood sure has changed. Okay. What type of sentence? What type of tense are we using there? Present perfect. Okay, present perfect. Very good. Uh, someone else? 50 years ago, people walk everywhere in simple past tense. Okay, okay, very good. Excellent. 
Someone else? They uh, are soon there will be uh, more than parking lots. I didn't, I didn't listen. Can you repeat it again, please? Uh, there will be malls and parking lots. Okay, what type of sentence are we using there? It was the past, the, the tense that we were practicing. Okay, but which one? Present, past, future? <laughs> I can't remember the name. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, got it. Uh huh. Someone else? A few years ago, not many people live here. Okay, tell me what type of tense are we using there? It's past simple. Okay, simple past, very good. Someone else? That because that because everyone has a car. Okay. Simple present. Simple present. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, someone else. Years ago, people walked everywhere. That's simple pass. Excellent. Yes, it is. Okay. What about the the sentence they try? What type of sentence it is? They try. Nowadays they try. That's simple present. Yes, it is simple present. Very good. Amazing. Well, uh, we're going to leave this. Uh, Part A. Oh, sorry. We're going to leave this video there and I will stop sharing and I will go to the presentation, PowerPoint presentation. Um, let me show you this. Okay, here we have. I have a message. Give me a second. I can hear Jordan. You can't or you can? No, it's all right. Okay. okay, very good. We're going to uh, see the topic and that correspond um, after the simple um, present and future tenses. Um, we're going to discuss the time contrast that is related to the same uh, same themes, okay? We are going to see, first of all, the objectives uh, that we have for this lesson. And it says that at the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. That's what we're going to do, uh, or what we're going to achieve um, during this lesson. Okay, here we have the three ones, past, present, and future. And there we have sentences. Okay, let's check one by one. The first one says, a few years ago, not many people live here. If we notice, we're using the verb live in past. In the whole sentence, the complete sentence, it is used in simple past, okay? Then we have the uh, present and it says, these days the population is growing so fast, okay? But in this case, we're using the present uh, tense, but as present continuous, okay? Why? Because we are using the main verb with ing form. In this case, it's present, but present continuous. Then we have the future and it says soon, there will be apartment blocks everywhere. A 
Okay, yeah. check it out that. Yeah. If we notice, we are using future tense. Uh, also, we have the sentence, people used to rent video types. Um, the, that one is used in past. Then we have today, people download movies online. Uh, and in this case, it's present because it's, it, it's something that happened uh, commonly. And we have the sentence in future that it says, in a few years, movie theaters may not exist. Okay. Uh, then we have the other sentence that it says, 50 years ago, people walk every, everywhere. Okay. And then we have nowadays, people drive their, their carts instead. <laughs> and in future, we said people are going to have self driving cars in the future. If we notice in the whole sentences, we're using a specific time contrast, okay? Something that happened in the past, something that happened in present and is, uh, and it happened in the moment, uh, and it's happening in the moment, uh, or something that happened in the future. Let's see. Here we have an exercise and it says, Yesterday, my life uh, headed in one direction. Today, it headed by another. Fear beliefs, phenomena that determine the course of our lives. These forces begin long before we, boring continue, we perish. Okay? Our lives, not our own, we, bond, to others and, and by each crime and every kindness, we bear or I believe there um, another war waiting for us, a better war and I, and I waiting for you there. Okay, so what we are going to you to do, I mean to use in what we're going to do here is to identify what tense is the ones that we are going to use. In this case, it's going to be a present, past, or future correspond, uh, that correspond to this passage, this text that we have in this slide. You're going to fill the blank. Um, you're going to fill in the blank using the verb that is in the brackets, okay? So I will leave this uh, slide here and I will count the time and I will give you just five minutes, okay? Five minutes. So go ahead. What is Perry? Huh? Where is Perish? Perish. Perish is, is an action. You can you can um you can look for it in a dictionary because if I give you the definition, you are going to identify the uh, tense. The idea here is that you must uh, complete um the this exercise uh, identifying in a whole uh, text what uh, tense correspond to that blank space. For that reason, I, I can be giving you like uh, the definition for each one, because if I do, um, I will give you the answer when in which uh, tense um, you must write it, the, the word that is in the brackets, okay? But after we finish, I, I, you can ask me about definitions and I will give you to you, okay? But during this exercise, uh, we must wait till, um, till we finish, okay? Uh, it's a deal. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. Okay. So you have a uh, five minutes, and those five minutes start right now. Thank you. 
Okay, do you finish the exercise? Hello? Hello? Not yet, teacher. Not yet, okay, okay. Well, I'm going to do something. Uh, I will share with you a document in the WhatsApp group and you must check that exercise uh, later and you can use it, use it for practicing. Uh, I will stop this. I will stop sharing. Um, because I want to, I want this space to ask you if you have any question for me uh, regarding to uh, the platform. If you have any question about sentences that, that must be solved, about uh, problems that you you may have in a platform or something that you do want to know about that. No, for me it's good. Okay, thank you. No, Mr. teacher, yeah. it's crystal clear. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, I had a doubt. Okay, Miss Aguilar. Yes, uh, it's the same. For example, to say, I like. To read and I like reading. I like to eat and I like. I like to eat and I like to. No, I like mm -hmm. to eat and I like eating. Eating. Yes. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. You mean I like to eat and I like. Uh, I like eating. Uh, well, yes. in, in, in grammar, after we use the uh, verb like, we must use an, an infinitive. In this case, we must use I like to eat, I like to play, I like to write, uh, instead of using the, the, the progressive of that, of that verb. Um, well, if you are going to construct a sentence using, using that, you must keep in mind that there is a rule that says that after like, we must use infinitives. And the infinitives are the ones who will start with uh, two. Okay, the, the verbs that start with two. Uh, to eat, to speak, to uh, read, to climb, to uh, well, fly, etc., etc. Because um, there is a room. Okay, go ahead, mister. And what about the bear love? For example, I love eating. Well, it's the same, it's the same. If we say I love eating, in this case is um, grammar, if we, if we apply grammar, it's incorrect. But even though there are like some musicians that use it in their songs, uh, if we talk about grammar, the structure is incorrect, but you can you can um, express ideas using that form. But uh, if you're going to do a formal uh, work, or if you're going to write something for academic purposes, you must use uh, infinitives, okay? With like, with love, with hate, all those words that express emotions. Or desires. Okay. Thank you. Huh? I didn't listen. Thank you. Ah, you said thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Um, let's see. Do you have uh, any other question? Chidi. Okay. Do you have
have any other question? Okay, just please uh, confirm yes or not. If you had questions or if not, please let me know. No teacher, everything is clear. Okay, thank you, sir. What about the rest? Do you have any question? I'm okay. You're okay, thank you, miss. Okay. So if, if you don't want to open your microphone, you can you can use the chat and say, no, everything is clear or yes, uh, I have a question or, or something like that, okay? Because, um, well, time's over. And so tomorrow we're going to see another topic uh, related to the section number four that you are developing in the platform or that you develop in the platform. Um, and then we're going to be developing some exercises too and practicing English. Um, well, ah, I have to, I have to, to remember you something that I, um, that I forget, I forgot to say at the beginning. Um, I don't know if um, if and the principal, well, the, the, the person in church of the platform has sent you a, a message that it says that the course finish, finish in around two weeks. Have you, have you seen that message there? Yes, um, I have a question about that. Okay. Um, today yeah. is the uh, the last day to send the documents. Oh, okay. Uh, that's related to the documents that you must send for the for the uh, next for course, the right? Uh, for uh -huh. okay, got it. Well, um, I don't know the exact day of of that, uh, but I will ask to the person in church. Um, and I will let you know in the in a in the WhatsApp group. They, well, they say it in today. the message. Today they say in the message that today was today the deadline. It is. Oh, okay. So that means that the, if you haven't sent, okay, thank you, Mr. Pastran. Uh, if you haven't sent the the documents, uh, you have the opportunity to do it uh, during well the rest of this night. Um, you can do it and they will check that information. Um, regarding to the platform uh, there, it, it is a message that it says that you must finish uh, the, the exercises in the whole, um, the meter and the final exam that you have there. Uh, because if the platform closes, you won't have the opportunity to complete the exercise. If you do not complete those exercises, that's mean that you won't go to the next level. Um, because you need at least the 80% in the platform and you need the 80% uh, of attendance in, in the video classes, okay? So you must keep that in mind because uh, sometimes it uh, could be confused about it confusion I mean about it because um, because um, the, something that we that we have to do is to to get the 80 percent there and the 80 percent here in the in the video classes that's what they say to get the certification to that allow you to um, to to say that you have complete the level uh, intermediate level two. Okay, and you can go to the to the next one. Uh, do you have any question? No, teacher. Okay, no. very good. And you are kind of over time. Yes, yes, you are two minutes. Okay, thank you uh, to everybody. Well, I will uh, I will see you tomorrow, <clears throat> and then we're going to be working next week. Um, teacher, excuse me. Okay, good. Tell me. Uh, I don't have a uh, number uh, that was group. 
I don't have. You don't have it. Uh, you are not, you, you haven't joined in a, in a WhatsApp group? Mm -hmm, I don't have. Okay, give me a second. I will share with you the link uh, of the WhatsApp group and you can join there. I will spam in the chat of this video conference. Let me see if, if it is a correct one. Okay. Can you go to the chat of this video conference? Okay, can you see the link that I sent to you? Okay. Okay, you can use that link to join the, the, the WhatsApp group. Because today, to, I mean, tonight I will share with you the document related to, to the um to the paragraph that you have in in the exercise that you were developing okay so just the paragraph i will send the whole document but you must focus just in the paragraph that we uh, have to solve okay then uh, if you have the if you complete it please send me the evidence that you did in the whatsapp group okay so um that's all okay. for tonight Blessings for all of you, and I see you uh, tomorrow night. Okay, bye bye. Have a bye, nice day. Bye. 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 B